What's going on? Welcome to another video. Today we are not on another adventure, but we are inside with it. It's been non-stop raining. Today we're going to put an underglow system on the bike. Because winter's coming around, it's dark, at 5 o'clock now, which kind of sucks, so more lights the better. Doing something a little bit different with it, it's going to be a separate power system from the bike. It's not going to be hooked up to the bike's battery at all. Um, we got an external battery system. I got uh, the Nino kit from Amazon. Looks like it's going to be one of the best ones, better than uh, the strips. It's got the small pucks. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. I'll show you all the tools we're going to be using. And yeah, it's going to be a nice clean install. Let's go. All right, so here's pretty much everything that we're going to be using. Um, the main components here, we're going to have a lithium rechargeable battery. This is going to have two leads here and then your charging port. So you got your positive and your negative. And then we're going to have the underglow kit. You have the Nino kit here from Amazon. It's pretty straightforward. You got a few wires. You got your positive and your negative. And then you got your white. This is going to be uh, hooked up to the brake light. I'm actually going to do uh, try a little modification. So I'm going to use the front brake lever as the switch with the brake sensor that's already in there because there's a two wire setup. So it is a positive and negative. So I'm going to hook that up to this. So every time I hit the front brake, the whole system lights up red. Um, but basically everything that comes in this, you got extender wires, and then these are going to be the LED pucks right here. They're super bright. And then you got your remote to turn it on and off. Um, as far as tools go, you're going to need a, a soldering iron. Um, I like to do it this way. You don't necessarily have to do it like that. Um, we do have a connector like this that came with a battery. Um, basically, this just you stick the wires in there, close it down, and you lock it in. I don't like that. I don't trust it. I know how to solder, so I'm going to do that. Um, we got heat shrink tubing wire cutters and strippers and I got uh, some scotch mount hopefully this works um, in the spots that I selected for it but I think everything should be good um, but yeah let's get in I'll show you the spots on the bike that I'm gonna plan to mount everything so with your battery out you have very small gaps behind here um, so basically what we're gonna do is mount the battery down here there's uh, just enough gap to fit that battery pack. Let's do it. So the battery pack fits right down in here. This is going to be mounted to this back wall. And then I'm going to run the wires around to the controller. This is most likely going to be faced like this. And then the wires are going to be ran upwards. So we're going to mount it upwards like this. You have gaps in the frame on either side, and this is where we're going to put the wires. So double stick tape this here, and I'll show you where we're going to mount the controller. So for the underglow controller, we're going to mount it on the plastic underneath the locking mechanism where the latch hooks up. And there's a nice flat spot in there, and it fits perfectly on the inside. So just kind of a dry fit look. It's going to be mounted right under there. There's a flat enough plastic spot to mount it with the double stick tape that they give you in the kit. So we're going to also remove this right here, run the wires behind that, and that's going to kind of be the start of where the, the circuit goes. The next thing is I'm going to trace the wire from the front brake sensor. So the front brake sensor here, I'm going to trace this back and find out where that ends under the hood, and we're going to clip that and end up soldering it to the controller and then the other line is going to go back to the brake lever. So that's going to be this wire right here. Could be different on yours. Goes down into this wrapped section here. I'm going to cut this wire and Pray it's the right one. All right, here goes nothing. Got our wire. This could be bad. Oof! With this extra end here, 
I'm just going to take some uh, more heat shrink and cover that up, make sure nothing happens with those. But with this wire here, we're going to strip it back. And these are going to be the two wires that are hooked up to the controller of the LED kit. So we got our black and white wires here. Um, it shouldn't really matter which one since we're just closing the loop in the controller. So essentially we can just kind of put these together. These are the tiniest wires I've seen, so this is going to be interesting. I'm just going to very carefully do this. I'm just kind of spinning the wire in between my fingers. This is going to be super easy to cut. There we go, just like that. We got, I don't know, about a little less than half an inch exposed. And yeah, we can do a little test run right now, actually. All right, so we're going to take black to black, just as usual. Give that a twist. We're going to take red red. Give these a twist. Then I'm going to take brake sensor. Brake sensor black wire. Give this a little twist here. And then we're going to take the brake light to the control module. hook these ones up so this will complete the circuit. So with this moving we should yeah look at that look at that Let's see if I can get this my whole arm in the shot. Sick, let's go. So you'll see in here too, this is where I cut the brake sensor wire. So I just put some heat shrink around it. And just tucked it behind there. So nothing else touches that and less chance of any shorts or anything like that. So that's going to stay up behind there. Next thing I got to do is mount all of the pucks all around the bike. So I have, this is the first wire coming from the controller. So I need to pop this through the front and then I'm going to wire it and zigzag it kind of all around the bike. So this is the layout of the battery and the controller. I ended up putting it over on this side just to keep all the wires and everything running on the same way. So the charging wire comes down, it goes through the bottom of the battery tray and comes out here. So you when you did charge it, you can put it in there. When you're done, you can just tuck it right in there. It should be fine, shouldn't go anywhere. Um, then all these wires here, they go up. They're kind of tucked over onto this side here. So I kind of wrapped them up a little bit here. I got some zip ties and then up top here is gonna be the controller. So all the wires go out, zip tie them together. Then they run behind this rubber piece that holds the battery in, goes up front. You can see the yellow and the black heat shrink over on that side. That is going to the brake sensor wire. So that's gonna be the switch essentially that runs up to the front of the bike. So everything's kind of neatly tucked behind there. This is a super clean install. I was real happy with the way it came out. Also too, I did do a test fit and all of this does clear the battery when it's in there. So I don't have to worry about catching anything. Don't have to worry about the battery getting ripped out. This battery is not going anywhere. And then all everything up top here is past this rubber brick. So this also is like the back support for the brick and for the battery and it's all tucked away nice. All right, so this is how I rooted it. 
So it's coming from the battery on this side. It's gonna come out and mount to the horn cover. It goes back in. And then I hooked it up to an extension, one of the short extensions that they gave me. And I ran this in between the controller and the body, uh, the frame of the bike. Coming from the top, it comes out here, goes back in the skid plate, connects over to this one, goes back under. Then the third one comes out here and I got a longer extension that goes back up. And then this is gonna go behind the plastic wall here, the firewall for lack of a better term, I guess. Um, and there's a gap at the top of it. So I stuck the connector from the puck through there to the extension wire and then that goes out to the back behind the shock. So this is the one here that's coming out from the firewall that's gonna get mounted up behind the shock up here, then come around. The wires are gonna loop up under here and then I'm gonna mount the next one to this. So this is gonna be mounted up here and second to last, it's gonna go above the brake light, get mounted up here, kind of long ways like this. And then the last one, I'm gonna to try to mount under the plastic under here. All right, here we go, finished product. So the first one's gonna be mounted right under the horn under here. Um, one thing I did have to do with this was use this double-sided tape instead of the sticky that came on there because it did not stick to that plastic. Um, so then that goes around goes under to the front side of the skid plate. We got one on the bottom of the skid plate that goes in through here, up through this part of the frame, and then comes at the top. All right, and here we go. Boom. Looking good. All right, so there we go. Honda Glow's installed. Pretty lengthy process, probably took about three or four hours, including filming and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely give it a shot. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, if it helped you out, drop a like, hit that subscribe button, you know what to do. Um, other than that, we're ready to get riding. And yeah, one special thing though I want to show with the brake light installed. We also have police mode. That's the sound of the police. That's the sound of the police. Now we can pull up on people. Don't let the 5 0 see you doing it, though. If you get caught, I wasn't here. That's it. Video over.